Hi guys and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Mod Warframe. Today we're going to take a look at the Dara. Now the Dara is a corpus based assault rifle that is researched in the energy lab in the clan dojo rather than being bought from the market, meaning that you need to be a member of a clan to be able to pick up this weapon. Now you're most often going to see the Dara being used by corpus crewmen and it fires laser projectiles alternating from the upper barrel to the lower barrel. Early versions of the Dara only fired at 7 damage a shot, which is about the same as the Gricata, and is incredibly low. However, that was eventually buffed up to 21 damage a shot. And the main features of this rifle are the fact that there is a flight speed that accompanies the projectile, plus the fact that it had no recoil at all, and the fact that it also has no bullet spread whatsoever, which means that this weapon has perfect accuracy, even when you take into account the multi-shot mods. However, a heavy calibre is going to be noticeable over medium to long range. When using a projectile based weapon such as the Dara, or even some of the others like the Supra or the Bolter, it can take quite a bit of getting used to. Now it takes time to learn about leading targets, and until that's mastered then putting effective fire onto moving targets will be very difficult. Now one way to assist this is to use Volt with his electric shield. Now, originally there was a bug that when firing laser projectiles such as the Dara or the Supra through the Volt Shield, it would give it an instant flight time and change the weapon into a hit scan weapon like the Bratton or the Soma. Now, DE decided this was an unintended bug, but it was actually quite cool and decided to leave it in. Now, this works still in the game today and is one way of improving the ease of use of the weapon. However, it might be a bit too static in game modes that require constant movement, such as sabotage, capture, or even exterminate. Okay, so when it comes to modding the Dara, first we go with serration and split chamber, again then hellfire and stormbringer for radiation, and then bane of grenier against the grenier, just for that little extra bit of damage against those uh, grenier targets. Now with the corpus, again we'll go with serration and split chamber. But then we'll go with Stormbringer and Cryarounds for Magnetic, and then Infected Clip against the uh, fleshier targets of the Corpus, things like the Chroman and the Tex. Now, I wouldn't recommend using this against uh, Infested, so on our final build, what we'll do is we'll uh, go with a Void build, which I go for Serration and Split Chamber again, Infected Clip and Stormbringer for Corrosive, and then cryo rounds just to help deal with the shields on some of those heavier shielded targets in the void. Now for the main part of this video, would I recommend Dara? This is a very difficult recommendation to make as it very much depends on individual playstyle. Some people absolutely love this weapon, some not so much. Now the Dara's 21 damage is on the low side and I feel that damage 2.0 wasn't that kind on the projectile based weapons such as the Dara and the Supra. Both of which I feel need a little bit of looking at in terms of buffing, just to bring them up to the same level as the other weapons. Now the damage from a properly modded Dara is more than enough to deal with the majority of the enemies on the star map, and up to tier 2, tier 3 void, although probably in some of the endless missions like uh, tier 3 defence, t 4 defence, survival, that sort of thing, um, I find the damage drops off very quickly. And also due to the lack of any polarities, it really does take a multi-former build to be able to use this weapon effectively and efficiently. Now, that's not to say that I don't like this weapon. This was one of the first dojo weapons I built. In fact, it was the first dojo weapon I built and the first that I put a catalyst on. And I've used it a lot over the last year since it came out and it's one of my favourite weapons. I love the Dara because of its combination of accuracy and the flight time because I find flight time weapons more fun than the hitscan weapons because it, it takes a degree of accuracy and skill to be able to put fire down very effectively with this weapon and I plan on doing a multi-former build with this weapon soon and I'll update with my channel um, as soon as that video is, is done so thank you very much for watching guys have a great day, bye bye